so this is I guess the first official video starting the rebuild rebuild series holy crap I can't talk I'm so excited first off I got a couple packages to open up um, one kind of you'll see some parts for the turbo and then another box for that's got the sway bar stuff which is gonna be in the next video I believe um, just just some random goodies but today we're gonna get the head studs in the rear main seal on well, rear, rear main seal first cuz where the engine stand uh, connects like is right there where the rear main seal goes on so we remain first then on the stand then we're gonna aim to get the head studs in if I'm feeling froggy go ahead and put the lower or uh, upper oil panel on and then call it a day there I need to drill out the uh, whatchamacallit the spots for where this new sway bar bracket is gonna go in if you guys will see in a future video if you didn't know the front sway bar um, bracket it they're riveted together so to change out the bushing you got to drill it out and the way that the sway bar is on the car I can't just drop the subframe I take the whole sway bar out to just cut them off so um, I had to get new brackets so. ECS sells a kit with bushings there shouldn't be anything else in here good but uh, I didn't need the bushings because I already got ordered them now twice from FCP I didn't want to return them again so Nothing crazy, just some bracketry. I'll show you here. Um, literally, it's just a bracket. Goes like that, bolt goes through, holds the thing down. I'm gonna go grab the bushings real quick, I'll show you. Hopefully, they sit in here properly. Hopefully, otherwise, I'm ordering more parts again. But there's that stuff. Oh, good stuff. Shop that once again. Seems like every week we got a box or two coming in from Shop that. Give them a lot of money in the past six months. Ooh, oh, dang, he sent me two plate frames? Thanks, Paul. All right, I only ordered one, he sent me two. This is perfect because I just put the, I had a, an extra plate frame, I put the USP Motorsports one on the front, but now I can rock uh, both these on the Jeep. This one to represent. I uh, got some stickers here, and I'll definitely be throwing one of those in the car too. So, Ooh, this teal's nice. So I got a new, um, basically just new coolant or water uh, feed and return lines for the car. They were so gunked up and nasty and gross. I was like, it's definitely. Worse. Oh look, a key ring! I just bought a uh, little lanyard for my Jeep key, so this is actually perfect. I needed a key ring. Thanks, Paul. That guy coming in clutch. So I'm gonna go throw this stuff in the box of parts and uh, we'll get to work. So you guys know what I'm talking about. I got new power flex bushings here, and uh, this is what I need this for. So this will sit up in there. Oh gosh, this will sit up in there. Boom, like so. Should be a nice swap. I don't know if this lip here will have any effect. I mean, it yeah. should get squished down pretty pretty good. Hopefully it won't slip out or anything, but we're gonna learn, we're gonna find out. I'll let you guys know. Anyway, off to doing actual engine stuff now. Going over some of my old video here and torque specs and this and that. I thought that I could put the rear main seal on without the upper oil pan being on, and you can't. So I gotta put the upper on, then I can do the rear main seal, and then I can put it on the stand, then we can throw the studs in. I was going to go ahead and throw the lower oil pan on and the oil pump, but I don't have the gasket for the oil pan, so I just ordered that. Um, I got the new hardware for the oil pump though, and there's not a new chain. I don't think I need a new, new chain for it anyway, so we're going to go ahead and slap the upper, the rear main, the oil pump, and then we'll... Actually, no, we won't put the pump on until it's on the stand, but... We'll make some progress today. So I got the torque specs up. I got the sealant out. We'll break that open. Start laying some beads. So uh, it's always great to take pictures because these are all the different hardware. So you got five of these kind. Uh, I think like seven or so of these. You got the two long boys. Went back, looked at the pictures, figured out where everybody went. So along the center here is the non round heads. Around the outside is all the round headed ones. And the two long ones go here and here. They go all the way through the pan. It says to put extra sealant here and here and then along all the grooves um, here. I don't think any go in the middle. 
No, I think there there is actually some does go around that, and then this right here will be saved. This section because it's angled. That's for the lower timing cover, so we won't put any around there for now. And it says to beat it up one to two millimeters, and then immediately put it on. So I'll double check about around here. I'm 99% sure there is some that went around here because yeah, you can see it um, actually right there still. So boom. Well, forgot to uh, hit the time lapse button for that one, but got all the sealant on there. I'm just going to slap this baby down. Hopefully I did it right. It's a pretty simple uh, task to accomplish, so just line this up properly, right? And it looks right. Go right down the middle. Snug a couple down so the whole thing don't move. So totally didn't time lapse that. Again, um, pretty simple. Go here. Tells you you start torque everything down to 8 and then some of them get 180 some of them get 45 180 90 and then your whole torque in sequence pretty simple stuff I was just trying to be quick because it says no longer than five minutes after you lay the sealant to get everything like on here so got that done as quickly as possible I forgot about this little little last one so I put that in out of order but I think it'll be fine next up we'll get this rear main seal on and then we can put it on the engine stand so we yank this out of here got this baby from fcp euro so i got a lifetime warranty on it we'll run a nice bead around there um after we get the actual seal in slap that baby on you got a little bit of hardware i think they're 5 nm torque really simple here we are doing the rear main seal um really not much to it it says to kind of go out a little bit over here, and over here. At least that's what it makes it seem like. My ugly, ugly beads here. Shit hurts my hand. All right. Hopefully, I don't mess this up. Just gonna make sure this lip doesn't roll. Stop. Well, that's on. Hopefully she's uh, good to go and neither one of those ever have to come back off again. It's all torqued. Shit's settling. Um, I gotta quit for now. I'm starving. Starving, starving. So I'm just gonna slam the bracket on for the stand, get it on the stand, call it a day, come back tomorrow. We'll get the oil pump on and um, I gotta wait for that gasket. Oh, oil pump and head studs. Okay, got the stand bracket on the block. I just have her here for a moral support. Hopefully this thing doesn't slide on me. Anything crazy, it's gonna be heavy as shit. Not excited, but I'm excited to get back on the stand, so. Wish me luck. hardware in today so did a little bit of research some people don't lube the threads that go into the block 
Some people do. Some people Loctite them. Some people use nothing. I am going to use ARP Lube. Go to the head. Just give it a little bit more than finger tight. Uh, but the instructions say just hand tight. So hand tight plus a little itty bitty bit. Um, before that goes in, I got to chase the threads. Make sure the threads are like totally totally good to go so i'm gonna tilt the engine off to its side um, go through that chase the threads then uh, get some compressed air in there in case there's any shavings and then we'll go ahead lube up the uh the new studs and put them in and i guess we could drop the head gasket on there from there and then uh in the next video we'll be putting the head on the oil pan and maybe a couple of accessories if I can. Don't know if I can. I think I maybe can before the covers are on over here. I don't know. We'll find out. But I'm going to get these studs in, get this oil pump on, and uh, call it a day. So tilt this baby to the side, chase these threads, and get to work. Where's that spring at? Bottom drawer. The big one? Yeah. So you guys just saw the time lapse. Basically all I'm doing is making sure these threads are super clean. So I got this nice tool that's uh, really sharp. Makes you just going in there, spinning it all the way down, taking it out. And if, if, like, if there's any rough spots, I'll kind of go back and forth on that. Pull it out, spray this off, clean it, spray some compressed air in there, clean that, and then do it again until I'm happy with um, how they feel. And now I got a stud over here without any lube on it. And I've been taking this one and is running through. Now I've done these two already and felt it. I haven't felt any of the other ones. You wanna make sure these threads are super clean as well. Um, just making sure these run down real easy by hand. Oh yeah, it's smooth as butter all the way down. So I'll go through and make sure all of them are good and then lube up all of these studs and uh, yeah, set them in. These don't get a torque um, when they go into the bottom end here. They just, uh, I should tape, put a piece of tape around here so I know it's going down to the bottom on each one, but there's no torque. It's just hand tight, and then all the torque it gets is like when you torque the head down to 80 foot pounds. So I'm going to throw a piece of tape on this so I make sure these are all even. Well, ran into a slight dilemma here. Like I said, I put tape on that stud and was going around to make sure they, it all went down the same amount. Well, this one is way far off. And I'll show you a picture here in a second. I get the flashlight out, look down in there, and there's something stuck down in there. I uh, tried with a scribe, a flathead, a couple other things. Uh, my needle nose don't fit way down there. And it's, it's just stuck. It's not a good time. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Let me get up this picture here right quick for y'all to figure out i got a buddy that's a metals tech dude so i might hit him up and see it kind of looks like a like a broken lock washer um get a decent light in here the camera doesn't like to focus this close but obviously you can see there's something down in there so i've been trying to jab at it and get it to hit the budge but it won't so i don't know what i'm going to do you can see that's how far out it's stuck um, all the rest went right down to the tape so that much thread is being taken up by that piece not a good time all right ladies and gents it is the next day I'm about to reattack this here stuck whatever the fuck is in my uh, block there so before we go further I want to make it very clear I don't think it's the machine shop's fault. I don't think it's my fault. I don't really know where it came from. I don't really care where it came from. I mean, I do, but I really just want it out of there and make sure the threads are good. Like, that's all I want. So, bring someone with a couple friends of mine. Shout out to Michael, shout out to Kyle. Um, went out to the store, got some bolts that are the same size as the, the stud. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna cut 
both of these to different angles on the tip. Do you want it like a 45, want it maybe a little bit more aggressive or a little less aggressive depending on how the first one goes. Throw it down in there, give her a little oogadoogas here with my hand and try and knock that piece loose and then hopefully it just falls out. You know, I'll clean it out, spray it, whatever. Be good to go. Um, so I got two opportunities with that and I bought this real super thin one that I'm hoping I can just maybe drum a little notch into it and get that down. You know, get it in there, angle just right into it, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe put a wrench on here and kind of use it as a slide hammer as last resort because I feel like if I hit it like that, it might might pop loose and then, like, damage a thread. So, um, that's all I got so far for ideas. And then, oh, I got my buddy, Tyler. He's Metals Tech. I don't know if you guys are... The first, like, turbo install video I did was on his car. Um, he's since got rid of the GTI, but... He's a metals tech guy on base. Um, he does all types of stuff for aircraft. So he's gonna come by with some tools, try and help me out. Hopefully our two little brains can uh, figure this out. So I also got some little containers here. Um, I'm gonna use one for the intake, one for the exhaust rollers. Um, fill them up with oil over top of them. So, you know, they've been sitting out of the motor for a while. They haven't been touched by the cams or anything. So I wanna make sure um, they're nice and lubricated, so we're gonna shove these in there, get those, get those sitting. Um, yeah, so today's attack. Just get that out of there, get the studs in, oil pump on, call it good. Maybe throw the head gasket on just to see how it looks, and maybe we can set the head on. I don't know. Depends on how quickly or how long this takes to get out. So I'll give you guys updates along the way once Tyler gets here, and uh, wish me luck. Didn't expect this video to be this long. If it is even long, I'm sure it is. Not. Thanks for bearing with me. Let's get this shit done. Yo, all right. So shout out to the homie Tyler. I shouldn't have. Uh, I should have recorded while he was here. And we spent a good, at least hour and a half trying to get this damn thing out. Between easy outs, drill bits, picks, uh, hammers, PB blaster, like all types of things. Finally got it out. I don't have. Uh, I bet, excuse me, anyway, this is what came out, I got it here on my phone, um, that's what it looked like compared to like a scribe, no idea what it is, I have the pieces sitting down here, I don't know if it's gonna really show up, yeah it will, I don't know, I have no idea what it is, where it's from, definitely doesn't look like anything from my engine, you can see this is like a 90 degree um, spot right there, if you guys have any idea, let me know, but it's out, so now I can get these studs in. I'm um, going to take the saran wrap back off, throw the studs in, throw the oil pump on, wrap it back up. Tomorrow, um, we get off work early. Why is it being done? I get off work at like 10 a.m. tomorrow, come home, put the head on, torque the head on, start throwing on like the, uh, that whole bracket that has the oil filter on it and... My AC delete bracket don't get here till next week. Injectors get here next week. The downpipe valve cover should be done next week. So pretty much beginning of the following week, have this thing together. If the timing doesn't give me too much of a pain, we can mount the trans to it. I need to go borrow the homies, um, it's called cherry picker. And this baby can get dropped in. I, once, this, once the motor itself is done, that's when I'm gonna drop the money on the other seat, seat brackets, sliders, belts, and roll bar. I just want to make sure there's no like crazy surprise costs with this assembly. I don't know what there would be. I'm just got to manage my money. So studs in now. Let's get to it. All right. So this is pretty simple. You get a little bit of lube. Slap a little bit of lube on. Well, you want to wipe these. Off. You want to make sure your threads are clean. Mm -hmm. Threads are clean. Throw a little bit of lube on there. Stick. You gotta save lube because you want you gotta completely lube up the washers and the nuts, so and the, the top threads as well. And just put them down hand tight. I'm gonna go around with an Allen key and just give them a baby snug. And that's it.
All right, now guys, don't make fun of me, but I am like super hyped. I've been daydreaming about this spot for a minute just to get the studs in, just to see it with the studs just hanging out. I am so freaking hyped. It looks so good. Man, nice and clean. I am so happy. Look at this thing. Golly. Man. Now next up, real fast, is literally three bolts for the oil pump. There's no gasket, no sealant. Only thing you really got to make sure there is uh, you have the chain on it. Because once the pump's on, you can't get the chain onto the pump. So chain on the pump, pump to the upper oil pan, and you're good to go. Three bolts, let it rip. Yee yee. All right, guys. Uh, like I said, you have to have the chain on it. I'm just Clean it up. I pop. There's like a little filter on the bottom. I popped off real quick. You can see down there. Pop that off. Clean that out just to make sure. Wipe down the mating surface. Slap the chain on. And it's gonna get messy because I keep turning the gear. There's the oil in there still. It's got two little dowels. It should drop right in there. Drop right in there, and we're good. I just gotta figure out which one's the long one, which one's the short ones. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Mm -hmm. I assume this one's a long one, and I'm right. Mm -hmm. I don't know what these get torqued down to, but I'm going to give them a couple good oogas here with the wrist. The pan that goes over this now is only one bolt that goes right there. It's a plastic piece, and then the pickup tube goes from there. New O-rings. That's all. Super easy stuff. I'm just gonna wait till the oil pan gasket gets here, so I can just do it all at once. Those seem pretty freaking torqued to me. I go much harder. All right. Well, alright guys, that's it for today's episode. We're, we are done. Um, like I said, next episode, a bunch of old stuff, get the head on. Um, or at least get the head on. That is the very next goal. Tomorrow, we get off early, come here, get the head on. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check all the links down below in the description. Merch site should be up by now. All that jazz. Support the channel. We'll be having this call on the street soon. Gavin's a fool, so hit that like button. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip flop.